Look at this. Wow. I've seen you've achieved something quite spectacular. Look at that. Look how spectacular yeah. it was to spend $100 look, look, right look, there. Look at you go. You spent money, bro. That was pretty spectacular. Congratulations. You received a hyperdrive token. Unlock the hyperdrive bundle. Make the jump to hyperspace. Okay, so I accept. Yes, I spent $100. What do I get for my $100 here? Oh, that's oh. kind of cool. Yo. Maybe the whole hyperdrive, hyperdrive bundle unlock. 2,000 crystals. Okay, we oh. all know 2,000 crystals ain't anything, but 20 million credits. Now that's nice. There it is. A yeah. Five. There it is. Dude, I don't even know what galactic. Oh. There's the galactic legends now. Like I, I don't even know what those are. So I'm kind of excited to try those out. The yeah, galactic pieces. legends are really sweet. 8,000 full gear pieces. Wow, full gear pieces. Okay, 26,000 gear materials. Oh man, that's a lot of this stuff. And you 662,000 uh, power. Guilds is unlocked. Is. Championships unlocked. <laughs> mod challenges unlocked. Mod battles. Dude, it unlocks everything. Look at that. It, it's like one of those chain reaction explosions. Oh, it's yeah. just slowly, just like boom, boom, boom. Fireworks, uh, fireworks, dopamine, dopamine. Yeah. You're doing Look how good you are. You did it. Look You're a this. skilled player. It's like when you first get a COD game and then you get one kill and then you get 18 things to pop up. Look at this. Wow. I've seen you've achieved something quite spectacular. Look at that. Look how spectacular yeah. it was to spend $100 look, look, right look, there. Look at you go. You spent money, bro. That was pretty spectacular. That's it. You can just do it. There's nothing. See, these are the Galactic Legends, though, right? So it's like, yeah, if but I those, want... those ones, yeah, you can, but oh, no. they, the pre look at the prerequisites. The prerequisites are absolutely insane. Well, okay, it's like, oh, by the way, you just got a relic seven oh, these guys. Oh. Yeah, it's like 13 characters or something. And then that's only part one. And then you got a relic seven all these guys. And then oh, that's no, part two. Oh, no, I just two. remembered. We have to look at the, we're, we need to look at the squad arena. Oh, no. Oh, no. Get out of here. We have to see how bad the squad arena is. Is this $100 yeah, yeah, check completely Check it. Check wasted. the shard. I know. We got to get out of here. No, 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 no. I don't want to do the event. Leave. Where? <laughs> The whales are spending yeah, as we no. speak. Yes, I know. We have to look. I don't <laughs> want to connect to Facebook. How bad is it? Oh, oh no, I'm rank 8,000. We're good. But no, I'm rank 8,000. Oh, wait, rank here we go. Number one. Oh, yo. Oh, oh, no. Oh, no. He has relics oh, already. Oh, no. Wait. Oh, no. Wait, what are these guys? This guy's got Geonosis. Oh, okay. Oh, so, well, well, okay. So, one mega whale. Okay. Okay. What? Oh, yeah, Wait, maybe okay, these are just hyperdrive fine. bundles. You know, I, this is just looking like it's just hyperdrive bundles. Yeah. Okay. Well. Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. Well, okay. Well, well, we got well, we got a couple guy. a couple mini spenders in here. All right. Okay. All right. Well, you know what? That's fine. That's okay. We they got a little bit of a head yeah. start on us. We're How we define to do whale is no anyone that spent more than you. <laughs> anyone who spent more than me, automatic hacker. Welcome uh, rewards. Instant. Yeah. Transaction the report. pending. Oh my lord! Look at that! Look at this! Oh, look at that! Look at, all, look the at good all those characters. Dismiss. We don't even need it. Uh, let's let's delete all of that. Don't care about any yeah, of that. Yeah, trash. Oh, now we get to the buy oh, Dark Lord Bather. Yo. Oh my god! Look Spit. at this. Oh, we get free twenty-five dollar value, dude. Look at all the dopamine coming in. That's free right there. Yeah, Didn't dope. even have to pay for that. Pow, pow, pow. Yes. He. I guess I've heard about the new fleet yo. battle tables. I guess I have. Wait, dude, you can just sim stuff. Look, you can, even if you didn't start, you can just sim. It just unlocks it. What? Oh, Wait, that's hold awesome. On. It's so convenient. I was worried that you would have to actually like honor this, even though you're oh obviously my God, you accomplished so much more. You can just go through it and just pick, you can just do what you, yeah. oh, wait, the nine ones you can, when does it stop? At eight, you can go all the way through eight. Okay, eight. does it okay, do hard? Okay, so here's, oh, wait, what? It does hard too. So you can pick, oh. so we can pick what we want. Do we want to build a droid team? Do we want ooh, to build? Ooh. Oh, this is so cool. What should we do? What should we do? This game is like, okay, I'm starting to get a little bit nostalgic again. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so we've been um, looking. We're trying to figure out what we want. I don't know. I'm kind of thinking Sith Eternal Emperor. I heard that if you own him, everyone's ships get automatically disabled. Oh yeah, yeah. Also, I think he auto loses to two lightsabers. All right, so I think we decided on the Sith Eternal Empire, and the reason is I'm Darth Microtransaction. I'm a Sith, I'm supposed to destroy the microtransactions, not join them, but I did. So I'm pretty sure that the Sith Eternal Empire would be the one that I want to do. Plus, to be honest, Malak and uh, Sion are some of my favorite characters. The Kotar people are awesome. Love that. So we're gonna go with that one. That being said, it means the prerequisites 
our Emperor Palpatine, Darth Vader, Royal Guard, all that. Then we have to do Darth Sidious, Darth Maul, Sith Marauder, Imperial TIE Bomber. Then we have to do Jedi Knight, Anakin, Grand Admiral Thrawn, Grand Marv Tarkin, Veers, and Stark. Holy moly, that is quite a list. So, I guess it's time to get going. All right, the battle is on. Kyer Mobo is now in my shard as well. I am rushing through trying to beat the Emperor Palpatine. Just go, 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 go with the default team. Trying to get Emperor Palpatine as quick as I can because what we are trying to do is rush to see who can get to rank one the fastest right off the bat. Being on the same shard is so much more fun than being on, on separate shards. Agreed. How do you like the new player experience currently, bro? The new hyperdrive thing and the journey guide, it's really good. Like, I, I, I really like the new UI. Okay, well, currently the race is on, and infor unfortunately, Kyer Mobo is ahead of me. Look, number one name, he's rank one in the fleet arena already, so he's got me by a little bit. Uh, I've got him in the squad arena, though. I'm in the 20s in the squad arena, so I, I'm ahead of him there, but I've got it. I've got to catch up. So we're climbing right now, and I'm going to try to knock him down. I'm going to try to knock him out of his first place, hopefully when he's not looking. He's streaming right now, so maybe I can get him when he's not paying attention. Also, I'm the only person on this shard to ha even have a Chimera. I seven-starred Hera with all of the Cantina energy I got from purchasing the Hyperdrive, and I'm trying to max out the Phoenix because I want to max out Thrawn and Chimera as my first picks. That might be a little weird. It's probably more of a mid-game thing, but I just really, really, really like Thrawn, and personally, he's kind of my favorite character, and I'm not trying to be super ridiculously efficient this time, to be honest with you. I'm going to be welling, so I have a natural advantage. I mean, it's not exactly like it's going to take skill, and then on top of that, Last time I played, I wasn't a well, I wasn't spending much money, you know, I was just playing casually. And so I played like, I tried hard with everything to make sure I got all the efficient resources and all that. This time I'm just going to try to have fun with Star Wars. All right, 100% one of the things we got to do here is farm the ever-loving bejesus out of Nihilus. We need as much as we can possibly get of this guy just over and over and over again. Yep, there we go. That's probably as much as we'll do. Man, you still only 10 shards of that, huh? All right, here we go, battle number 21. We gotta be able to climb here because Kyra Mobo has currently got us in this ship arena. But I think once I get to him, I can knock him down. But if I can get rank one in squad arena, I don't know if he'll be able to knock me down because I just put mods on him and everything. So let's see, who should we fracture here? Yeah, okay, let's obviously fracture this guy. Now we got the, well, that big thingy, kabam, and now we're gonna remove it and get the, oh, that's right, they have the new Merciless thing for him now. And you get the extra bonus turn meter. To be honest, I think my team's actually gonna be okay. I thought it was gonna be a little, I was a little worried at start, but now that I got like mods on it and stuff, it's like, I, I think we're gonna be okay. Not just against this team, I mean like in general. The problem is there's one guy that we showed you earlier that's got like Relic Fives and everything. So I'm not 100% sure how old the shard is. I think it's like six days old, which means that guy, cause we looked, he has five Zetas already and we were doing the math. Would that mean these Zetas? And we also looked and he did 535 raids. So it must have been a hoarded account for like a year or something with that many raids, right? Just just crazy. It was a, it, It's a crazy hoarded account. So it's going to be really hard to beat that guy at all, we realized. <laughs> but we're going to try. Hey, check this out. We got rank 10 rewards for the heroic pit, actually. So we got seven shards of the guy. 800. Look at that. We're actually starting to get rewards already. <laughs> Let's go. First day. Right. I guess... Technically second day, because I played over the when the reset was for me. All right, here's the thing. I got four hours left to buy this. This is the Lightspeed Zeta Bundo, AKA the Rob You of Your Money Bundo. It is $100, gives you five Zetas, 15 Omegas. You can see it here, right? The credits and all that. I'm basically doing it almost entirely for the Zetas and Omegas and Christos, these three right here. Reason being, if I buy this, when I get my arena payout today, I get my first Zeta, basically a day one Zeta. So we're gonna YOLO and cracking out the account. Let's go. Another $100 down the drain. This account's already down like 250 bucks or something, man, because we bought a couple of the starter ones. Here we go. All right, let's get all our stuff. Pow, there it is. Oh, I'd say it's worth it, but as anyone who plays mobile games knows, it never is. Man, when you look at it, you can actually just straight up buy shards. Look at this, you can buy 50 shards, 2,000 gems. I wonder if, okay, so let's do 100 gem refresh, right? Five attempts, how much is that? So that's like almost 25, I mean, not even counting the energy, right? That's 25 per at that level. How much is this, 2,000? 
I mean, 25 per, what would that, for 50 of these? 10 of them be 250, that, oh, okay, it's still cheaper. It's still cheaper to do this, it looks like. Not unless that happens. Oh my God, I forgot about the worst thing ever, which is Carbonthes, man. Dude, you need so many of these stupid things. Like you constantly have to buy them. There's, there's like no way around it at all. All right, we can sim. Oh, I can't even, we don't have enough energy. Oh no, okay, we gotta do the hundreds as well. The hundreds are worth one, two, three. Let's do, nope, just one to get the free gem. One, pick up the gem for each of these, I suppose. All right, there we go. Okay, we're gonna try to do this event here. This this event's actually like kind of cool. I've never seen this one before. It's like a Sith event. Uh, let's see here. Okay, so let's let's get rid of Palpatine. We don't want to get shocked. Uh, who would we fracture? Uh, we should probably actually fracture. No, fracture Dooku because this guy's got that weird like counterattack thing when they reworked him. Okay, please stun everybody. Ooh, nice. We actually got pretty good amount of stuns. Cool down drain. Hey, this is going pretty good. Uh, who do we want to, who do we want to shock? Let's shock him so he doesn't be able to, okay, let's just cool down block him in. That didn't work at all. Please cool down block him. Oh, they got a lot of damage. Okay, if they get turns, this could be scary. One down. So far, so good. Deflected. Zap him. Okay, he's shocked. Oh no, all right, there goes our, okay. Okay, all right, now they're starting to, wait, what happened to him? He just, oh, the, the protection killed him over the, wait. Wait, are we, okay. Dude, look at how many packs you can buy now. What? You can just, bro, you can just click on it and just like buy all that gear, pal, all that gear. Click on this one, all that gear. Holy moly, you can just, you can just well out. Man, this is really fun. Like, I have no idea what I'm doing now. There's so many new packs, so many new legendaries and like Galactic Legends is what they're called now. They have like super ultimate abilities or something. Suffice to say, I don't know what I'm doing anymore. I really like the user interface changes and I love the accessibility where you can just do whatever events you want whenever you want. Like, or I should say the, the legendaries at least, like that is, that is really cool. I actually like that a lot, you know? I mean, it used to be where you kind of have to like, when you made a new account, you have to go and plan your account around the cycle of whatever character's coming and be like three months is coming, you gotta hoard all your materials out. Now you can just kind of like go the way you want. But what I don't know what to do is what is the best thing to go for? This is where I really need the help from the community that have been playing Star Wars for years and years. Can some of the veterans tell me if you guys were going to, you know, be super mouth breathing, achieving something spectacular, no skill involved well, what is it that you would think the first thing that you would get? Mostly squad arena, fleet arena, okay? Let's think that. But I'm also going to be getting into a guild that I'm sure is gonna be happy to backpack me. They said it was no problem. So I don't really need to worry too much about participating in guild and building teams for progression or anything. This is mostly just for fun and collecting characters and domination of the arena. What is it you would do? So I'm gonna be reading the comments and I'm gonna use that as advice. I'm also gonna be live streaming this account at twitch.tv slash Darth Microtransaction on some days. Most likely it's gonna be around 5 p.m. to 7 p.m. EST, right around somewhere. And that range is typically where I get live. So if you wanna see that, you can catch me there. But please, some advice would be lovely. Love y'all, have a great day. Subscribe if you would like to see another video like this Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes, one with me. And like if you just wanna help me out.